Well, we're just three days away from getting back in church. I sure did uh, miss you guys this this past Sunday. Uh, the Lord had different plans, and uh, and so we did a message from home. And if you haven't uh, listened to the decisions message that we did this past uh, Sunday, uh, go on our Facebook page and uh, scroll down till you find it. But we talked about decisions, and, and one of the things we said uh, this week was that choice, not chance, determines destiny. And... and when you think about choosing things, uh, some things are easier to choose than others. Uh, peace is one of those things that I sometimes forget that I can choose it. Uh, and the reason I forget I can choose it is because I find myself in in some peculiar situations at times. And you know, I think about peace, and uh, and to choose peace, you have to be proactive. You know. Uh, but peace is absolutely something we can choose. It's not something we just experience. We choose peace. And, to, and so tonight I want to give you in a short clip on a happy Thursday, I want to give you two things, two things that I believe you can do that will help you choose peace. Again, I think you have to be proactive in your decisions. The first thing is you need to control what you can control. When thoughts and things come into your mind and into your day that, that are beyond your control, Often for me, it causes me to get anxious and to uh, try to figure out how I can influence something that really is beyond my control. And the Bible says in Philippians chapter 4, verse 6, to be anxious for nothing. And so to take God's word at his word, what Paul says here is, is don't be worrying about things that are beyond your control. It says by prayer and supplication, take your request to God and he will give you peace. That's what that word, uh, verse says. So go back. After we get off here tonight, and I want you to look up Philippians 4, 6, and 7. It's a wonderful verse. The second thing, first thing, control what you can control. And the second thing is this. Get past the need to be right all the time. You know, folks that need have a need to be right all the time, they want to argue every detail of life, will make you miserable. And sometimes that ends up being us as Christians. We want to argue everything. You know, try yielding. Just yield to the other person. Philippians chapter 2, verse 3. We're in Philippians tonight, believe it or not. That wasn't by design, but it happened. It happened, so the Lord was there. But anyway, uh, Philippians 2, 3, in the New American Standard Version, I like this version, says, With humility, consider one another as more important than yourselves. And if you'll do that, you will avoid some of these um, foolish arguments that you get into. And I, You know, I oftentimes say it like this. Uh, instead of arguing with a foolish person who uh, may be of the world, uh, maybe a Christian brother or sister, but instead of arguing with those folks who just will not let things go and causing an anxiety in your heart, I say it like this. Don't wrestle with a pig because you both get dirty and the pig likes it. And so I hope to see you guys on Sunday. And, and just as a final word, I would I would encourage you to get out of the pig pen and choose peace. God bless and see you Sunday.